Ritter, uh, for you going into Calgary, I think that was a highlight. It's something that you wanted to do last year and prove that you were an NHL goalie uh, coming from kind of obscurity last season. This year, we kind of had a lot more expectations uh, for you, and obviously you were rewarded with uh, some time in Calgary. Uh, how did it feel to go up and play for the Flames like uh, you did this year? But you know, that was that was thing uh, why I came here. Like uh, everyone want to be in the NHL, uh, and that was my idea. What I what I can do, what what I want to do here, and uh, like I been I been in the Calgary for uh, almost five months. That was a really nice time. Uh, me and uh, my fiance really enjoyed the time in with the, with the Flames and uh, in in the town of the Calgary. That was pretty 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 nice and. Uh, I mean, my game uh, was there uh, sometimes kind of kind of kind of good, and you know sometimes you you have uh, bad days, and couple couple games wasn't uh, two of my best. When when you look back at your experience in Calgary, though, do you feel like uh, when you got a chance to be the starter when when Mike went down with an injury that you you put your your best effort forward and and you you gave the Flames a chance to win? You know, uh, that was my game. I, I wanna, I wanna give uh, the biggest chance for for my team to win, and uh, I tried to do that every single my game. And you know, when when he was hurt, because he was uh, huge, huge for for the Flames team, and when he was hurt, uh, I don't know what happened. Like uh, we didn't have a good games that time, but uh, yeah, I I I could be better in that time. When uh, you look, though, you obviously, with Mike, he plays a lot of games. You were used a little bit sparingly. Was it harder for you to adjust to the NHL game when you weren't getting as many games as goalies obviously want to play an awful lot? Yeah, but, like, uh, you, you have to take your, your position in that team, especially uh, when you get a Mike in front of you because he's an unbelievable goalie. And uh, uh, for me, that was great, really great experience to be with him in one one team and uh uh, see him in the practice, see him uh, what he doing uh, off the ice. So that was a really good experience. And uh, for your question, like uh, it wasn't too hard because uh, in the in the Calgary it's Jordan Sigalet, and uh, we had a really nice and we a really good uh, good practice on the ice. So that that's helped me. And like when I was in the game, I I wanna play and I wanna play my game and show show my best. The uh, being with with Mike though, I mean, obviously he's a, a a very good goalie who's played an awful long time in the National Hockey League. What were things that you took away from him uh, that whether it be on the ice or off the ice that you now kind of employ in your day to day business? Like uh, we we talk a lot about uh, my mentally to, uh, mentally and uh, like uh, how can I prepare every single day? Uh, like prepare if it's day number one or day number 25 it doesn't matter what, what's going on so be, be still same and the biggest thing what i probably take is stick handling because like you know he's he's best goalie with the sticks so i i watch him every day and i don't really know what i can say about it he's unbelievable with the stick you know that was one of the things that was my next question for you though is that you, you've never been one to shy away from playing those kinds of pucks uh, around the net but it seemed like when you came back from Calgary that you were playing even more is that something that you kind of took from Mike yeah pro uh, for sure <laughs> like you you can you can see him every every practice every game he stopped every single puck was was his dream so yeah I, ju I just learned from him uh, take my lessons and uh, try trying to play a little bit more than uh, I did before What's next for you now in this uh, in this off season? Is it a matter of preparing mentally to try and get uh, an, an NHL spot? Uh, is that the the goal for this this summer? Yeah, hope so. Like uh, I I want to go. I want to I want to be in the NHL. I want to be NHL goalie. So this may be one of one of the things for the summer. The second one is the weddings. Well, that was my next question. I know you are going to be getting married this year, so uh, there's going to be some time that you're going to have to spend uh, planning the wedding. So uh, are you looking forward to that experience? Uh, it's coming up when? In uh, June? July? July, 28th of July. But, like, uh, we already did everything, almost everything with uh, Nicola. So that's, that will be not uh, hard right now. So, yeah, it will be nice time uh, spent with the families, friends, my girl.
the uh, you, you look back to last season, I think English was not just uh, a challenge initially, but it was also something that uh, your, your fiance didn't speak the language. Now your second year with the two of you together up in Calgary and Stockton, do you guys feel a little bit more comfortable and assimilated here to the life in, in North America? I know it's a little bit different than life back in, in the Czech Republic, but did you guys feel a little bit more comfortable in your surroundings? You know me, I feel I feel a lot of comfortable right now because like, uh, two years that helped me so much, and uh, I, I'm every day with the, with the boys in the locker room, so I can trip everyone right now. That's good, <laughs> and uh, yeah, my girl, my girl, uh, start feeling a little bit comfortable right now, but uh, she's still working on that. Yeah, and, and you guys are looking forward to, to going back and getting married uh, over in Czech Republic. But uh, any honeymoon plans, off season plans, uh, vacations that you're going to be doing away from um, away from hockey? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's like. We, we have to talk first about that, and we'll see. But we got a wedding uh, pretty late in the summer, so I, I, I will be in the, in the summer camp right now at that time. So I want to be prepared for next season. That's, uh, that's my biggest point for the summer.